Welcome to TechyJack. In this video, we will see how to configure download domains in Exchange Server 2019 to protect from the vulnerability CVE 2021-1730. Before proceeding, let's know what is CVE 2021. CVE 2021-1730 is a spoofing vulnerability that exists in Exchange Server 2016 and 19. And this could result in attack that can allow a malicious actor to impersonate the user. To prevent from this CVE 2021, Microsoft recommends that all the exchange users should configure download domains for inline images to appear from different DNS domains instead of OVA. For example, if you have an OVA domain URL as a mail.techyjack.net, in this case, all the inline images will appear from this domain and we do not want it. We want it to be set for the different domain that is attachment.mail.techyjack.net. So we want if anybody inspect the images on the outlook on the web, it should not show our over domain that is mail.techyjack.net. Instead of that, we want it to show as attachment.mail.techyjack.net. One thing to note here is that this effect will only appear on the Outlook on the web. It has no impact on the mobile devices or the Microsoft Outlook desktop application. So let's proceed further to configure the download domains. So right now we are on our server. So before configuring the download domains, I want to show you something. If we go and check our version of Exchange, you can see the product version is 15.2. 1544.011 which is the latest one if you compare it with this one 15 to 1544.011 so this is the latest one exchange server 2019 cu14 april 24 hu update is there the file version we are up to date still we are up to date but uh, if we go and check the powershell health checker script i have downloaded this health checker script here and if you go and run this script, you will see that it will detect some vulnerability. Let me navigate to the script folder and let's try to run the health checker script and I will generate the HTML report. You can see the HTML report has been generated. Let's have a look on that. Here we have this. So if we go and scroll down for the security vulnerability, here you can see, let me maximize it. You can see the security vulnerability and it says download domains are not configured. You should configure them to protect against CVE 2021-1730. Though we are updated, we are on the latest CU and latest security update, but still we have this security vulnerability there. So we have to fix that. So let me close this. So to configure the download domain, first of all, we have to create the DNS entry so i am inside the dns of my domain that is techyjack.net and i have a zone for mail.techyjack.net so here i will create a new cname record by the name of attachment and i will point it to the mail.techyjack.net you can see the attachment is a alias name and the fully qualified domain is attachment.mail.techyjack.net our OI URL is mail.techyjack.net and we need this as attachment.mail.techyjack.net. So this is the record you have to create inside the internal DNS zone. We are creating this because we want our inline images on the Outlook web access appears to be downloaded from this URL that is attachment.mail.techyjack.net. We want to pretend on the OA that the image is downloading from this URL that attachment.mail.techyjack.net instead of our OA URL. The same thing we have to do on our public domain as well. So if you see the screen here, I have created this attachment.mail as a CNAME to my mail.techyjack.net on the public domain as well. So let's go back. Apart from this, you also need this domain name on your certificate as well. So I'll show you in the details. 
if we go and scroll for the subject alternative names here you can see we have a mail.techiejack.net auto discover and attachment.mail.techiejack.net so then this url should be there on your ssl certificate so let me close it so after configuring the dns record and the certificate we have to add the domain to our ova virtual directory so let's try to set the OA virtual directory for our download host name. So let me open the exchange management shell. And if we check for this get OA virtual directory for the download host name, if we check this right now, you can see it says like default website and there is no external download host name and internal download host name configured. So we have to configure that in order to configure the internal URL, we will run the following commandlet like set OA virtual directory identity exchange the name of the exchange server OA and the default website internal download host name is attachment.mail.techiejack.net it is set now so let's go and do it for the external domain as well and we have the same name like attachment.mail.techiejack.net it seems to be done so let's now confirm it again now you can see the external download host name is attachment.mail.techiejack.net and same for the internal download host name is also there. So now we have to enable the download domains. So we will run this following command set organization config enable download domains true. Let me hit enter and it is set. After doing that we have to restart the IIS service. So simply I will type IIS reset and it is attempting to stop. The restart attempt has failed. So let me run it through the command prompt say IIS reset stopped successfully and restarted successfully. So the IIS also has been reset. So let's try it. I have sent an email from the administrator to test a download domain. This we have an image here. So if we inspect it and here you can see the image original SRC and you can find the src is equals to https attachment.mail.techiejack.net this is the thing what we want like we want the image to be appear as from this domain like attachment.mail.techiejack.net instead of our ova url that is mail.techiejack.net so we have successfully configured our download domains because our image is loading from the attachment.mail.techiejack.net by configuring the download domains, you can protect your exchange from CVE 2021-1730 vulnerability. I hope the video was informative. Let's meet in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy this video and want to see more, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell icon to get notified whenever I post new content.